So, you want to know the real cancer in professional wrestling? It's not CM Punk. It's the fans. The Frickle fans. The Toxic fans. They're the real cancer. And the cancel culture. It says CM Punk addresses cancel reputation from AEW run. That's all bullshit. And yeah, I agreed a lot. CM Punk was only under contract with AEW for two years, but a lot happened during his run due to his drama in the promotion with fellow wrestlers and also finding success. Issues between Punk and the Eli, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson and Hey Man Adam Page caused the AEW all out brawl. Nearly a year, Punk and the Ace Steel got into a backstage brawl with Omega and the Young Bucks after he ripped several wrestlers at the comments he made at the post-event press conference. Despite the negatives, Punk had memorable matches and made friends while appearing on the Masked Man show at the fans, uh, Fanatics Fest New York City it was said that many people expected the same things implying AEW issues to carry over to WWE when he returned last November. Punk said that's all bullshit. None of that stuff is reality. Oh, he's a cancer. Listen, not everybody gets nice me. I treat you accordingly. If you're a piece of shit and you act that way to me, I'll treat you that way. If you're nice, you're smiling, you want to have a good time? Let's have a good time. I'm all hugs. It's not like I'm two different people. There are just certain people, the ones that spread those lies and say those things about me because they can't control me and they can't control the things I do and say. They absolutely hate that. So they try to control the way other people feel or see me. It's bullshit. You're going to have to make your own judgment and draw your own conclusions. I think this is pretty much a dig at AEW and the people that are continuously calling him a cancer because he stood on business. He didn't want to do certain things with Jack Perry. And I remember all of that happening a while back because Punk immediately just exposed AEW and now AEW is in troubles ever since he left and everything about that company has been a joke now they can't even stay true to how they were in 2019 when they first came out and now all of a sudden you're signing these ex WWE stars and your ratings are continuing to go down the rabbit hole meanwhile WWE is thriving on signing talents and allowing them to go out and do what they want to do. And Tony Khan, he is one of the biggest wuss I've ever seen. Being scared to stand up to CM Punk, especially at the press conference, to now all of a sudden you like you're losing in ratings in months and years because of what happened with Punk. I mean, even though CM Punk admitted that he played a huge role in that as well. I mean, at least he took some accountability for it. But regardless of that, there is a reason why people don't really respect Tony Khan and AEW and the marks that are continuing to call CM Punk cancer. But I'm going to tell y'all something. The real cancer, and like I said in the beginning of the video in professional wrestling, are fans like this. Fans that are AEW fans, the dick riders, the, the the grinders, the the naysayers, those that support AEW like crazy, will always say bad things about CM Punk when knowing full well that they are the ones that perpetrated the whole thing. If yet they the ones started it first, so let's not get it twisted. And in my honest opinion, I think CM Punk was right on everything. And I like what he said that if you treat me nice, I'll treat you nice. If you want to have a good time, let's have a good time. But if it come at me sideways, 
it's going to be problems. So he is trying to do right in the WWE. He is trying to be himself. The last thing he wants to do is go back to the AEW days. So don't ever try to get that bad side out of Punk. Because he's been doing good for the past year. Ever since he came out last year. Everybody loves him. Wrestlers. Friends. And he's even a mentor to the younger guys. Helping out the people at NXT. That he wanted to do in AEW. But they don't want nothing. Like they don't want no part of it. And that is the saddest thing. That a wrestler could ever experience. You try to mentor them. And they don't want to take your advice. They don't want to listen. F them. Screw them. You're better off in WWE. When they will admire a legend. Like CM Punk. Although not confirmed, Punk is expected to wrestle Drew McIntyre in a strap match next week. Likely at Bash in Berlin after McIntyre went over Punk at SummerSlam. And to be honest with you, I think Drew McIntyre is doing some of his best work as a heel. Because I love how he developed a true heel persona. The hatred for CM Punk even though they're turning this whole cancer thing into a storyline. But I truly don't think that he feels that way about him in real life because they're all professionals. They're doing it for the fans. It's all entertainment. I mean, to be honest with you, Seth Rollins and CM Punk are both getting along backstage and that's an A+, right? So as long as they're professionals outside of WWE, well, not outside, but in the ring doing segments and fighting the current on, on TV, yeah. But in real life, they're getting along. They're taking it one step at a time. And that's what I like to see. You know what I'm saying? He made amends with a lot of people in the WWE after all these years. He's let go of the past. And he took some accountability. So I think we can all just appreciate when a person that played a huge role in the situation, if they took some part of it, they take ownership of their accountability. And that's what adults do. That's how they grow as better people. Unlike AEW. So this was an interesting article. I think the biggest thing I learned from this is never allow people to make you something that you're not. Be yourself at all times and just have fun. Forget about the negatives and forget about the BS. Just be yourself. At the end of the day, let the past go. Stop calling him cancer. Stop calling him the worst thing that ever happened in professional wrestling because we all know that deep down you're going to buy them tickets to go see CM Punk wrestle or segments regardless the same way you do John Cena so let's not all be hypocrites here so what are your thoughts on this article links to the article will be down below and I'm